Crypto enthusiasts, welcome back. Today, we're gonna to be talking about a bone coin. Yes, we're gonna explore a little bit about what it is, but there are some potential massive moves coming for this asset due to some of the technical analysis I'll be going through. So I'll see you in the video. Thank you for joining me. Once again, guys, your support's always appreciated. Go ahead, hit that like, subscribe, tick that notification bell if you do enjoy my content and you wanna stay tuned for any future updates. Now, this is my first video on the Abone coin. And to start this, let's take a look at exactly what it is for you people, ladies and gentlemen. What better way to do your due diligence than on CoinMarketCap? Simply by typing in the abbreviation Bone ShibaSwap, you can do all your due diligence right here. Now, to address the question, what is the Bone token or coin? Well, we can see that Bone ShibaSwap is the ShibaSwap decentralized exchange, otherwise abbreviated as DEX, governance token with a voting functionality. Bone allows the Shiba Inu community, also known as the Shiba Army, yeah, I'm not a part of them, to vote on upcoming proposals, submit proposals, and access future NFTs. Now with that, let's take a look, because there's been a lot of hype with the Bone price. What we can see is it opened quite nicely at around $1.37 here, with a volume of around 8.21 million. We did have a nice decrease here, and we're gonna to get to the charts shortly, but we need to address this and, and its fundamentals. We can see that whilst volume has decre decreased, there has been quite a substantial increase in volume in the last few days. We can see it's at 11.3 million here, and currently at 11.67 million. This is amongst one of the highest influxes with volume on this token as well. And on the left, you can see that volume is up at 33.7%. So. The question is, well, why is volume up? Is there something to be had? And what can we expect for the price action moving forward? To do that, we're going to quickly look at the daily chart. Now on the daily chart, we can see that potentially there could be some dangerous moves to the downside. The reason for this is not only are we struggling with this level of resistance here at around $1.36 as it played out resist, resisted the price here, resisted the price here and resisted the price here. There is something bigger, ladies and gentlemen, that could be playing out. What is to be noted is a trading pattern. This is an inverse cup and handle and potentially could be driving the price straight back onto this level of support at about $1.13. You can see this level of support here playing out with support right here, in addition closely here, and resistance under it as well as resistance here. This is going to be the next valid level for this bone token. Now look, always do your financial due diligence. I'm not a financial advisor and this is not financial advice. I'm sharing my journey and technical analysis with you. So there is one thing to be noted with the MACD pulse from market spotter is that yes, we did pick up on this selling point here on the daily before we had this big decrease in the price from a roundabout here to this level of support of 31.43%. Now what we're looking at with this bearish pattern potentially on the daily and the MACD pulse is that we are failing to see this cross up here. Now with this indicator, if it is to give that cross up, it is going to flag a nice green triangle like it does a red triangle for a sell. Note that the candle is still open for 16 hours here and so we are only going to know whether or not we can perform this bullish cross on the daily for the bone token once we have that candle close and if there is enough movement in this candle upon its close. There is one other thing I want to point out with the bone token as well. We can see when we busted through here, the volume reciprocated the price. So volume was leading price. This is quite normal. Again, when we had we come back onto this level of support right here, we can see that volume led price and we did have this sell off right here. What we are seeing right now, which is very interesting with the bone token, is that we have had since this sell-off here, a evident decrease in the volume when it comes to price action. What we are seeing here is a lot of selling pressure as we have formed this, in my opinion right now, a doji, and there's been a lot of these uh, buying orders eaten up by people who are selling the price. Now, with this current candle and 16 hours to go on the daily, we don't see a lot of volume. So we need to see that volume coming through if we are to at least retest this crucial level right here at $1.35 for the bone token. However, this could be a confirmation clearly that we could be falling back onto this level of support if this is going to be an inverse cup and handle. This could be very interesting to be, to be looking out for when it comes to this token as well. I am going to be trading this and I'm going to go through on the four hourly some of the trades I am looking at. But before we do that, let's take a look at this article from newsbtc.com. 
Boeing coin surges 11% on the weekly chart amid crypto turbulence. We have seen Bitcoin absolutely sell off in the last week and the RSI hitting unprecedented levels since I think November 2018. That's a big sell off. We can see that the ecosystem and community factor catalyst for growth. So this could be the factor behind why we are seeing an increased volume with the Boeing token and growth as well. Recent surge in transaction volumes as reflected on coin market cap, the Shibarium relaunch agenda confidence in the coins momentum. If you did want to read more about this, jump over to newsbtc.com. They have awesome news articles when it comes to everything crypto related. Now, back onto the four hour analysis with the Boeing token. If we are to jump on the four hourly, we can get rid of the volume. There's a few things I do want to start looking at. We can actually see a potential bullish pattern right here. Though we haven't entered up from entered from the upside, we have had this large sell off here. We can actually see a cup and handle playing out. If this is to move, it would be expected to be bouncing from here, though the RSI whilst is whilst the two lines here um, are tapering closer together, potentially signifying a cross. It is yet undecided as whether or not we are going to see that in the interim or short term on the bone token. Now, there is a few things I do want to point out here. One is, of course, the moving average. We are trading below a hundred period simple moving average, which can and is a good indication of trend direction of any asset. We can see once we fell below it here as an educational tip, we saw the coin absolutely depreciate to this level of support and resistance because they cannot just keep depreciating to zero unless it's very bad manipulated or vice versa. We can see when we broke up above the 100 SMA, 100 period moving average, it confirmed a upwards trend with that token. What we are seeing right now and the importance of this is that we are trading below that 100 period moving average. And not only that, we also have a level of resistance here at around about $1.34 to about $1.36.8. This is going to be a crucial point and move it for the bone token. We can see that just wicking off of this 100 period moving average. To see the price break to the next level of resistance here at $1.44 and around about $1.46, we would have to see the price breaking this 100 period moving average and this level of resistance here to see that. This could be not a bad target. If I was to trade this on the four hourly, I would need that confirmation candle with some volume above this level of resistance and 100 period moving average with a stop loss at around about the recent low. I'll give it at the range of this um, level of support if we are to flip it and a take profit target. I'll be a little bit generous on that. That's a risk to reward ratio of 1.64, potential loss of 2.68% to a potential gain of 4.38. Now that would be stringent on those conditions as well. But there's one other indicator I do want to take a look at. Now, yes, we are trading under the 100 period moving average, indicating that yes, potentially we are trading to the downside in terms of overall trend on the four hourly. If we do look at the cloud catcher from market spotter, we can see that yes, we did have that confirmation break down under the cloud, signifying yes, sentiment has dried up and we are going to be trading, trending to the downside until we did hit that level of support. Well, what are we seeing now with the cloud catcher? The price is within the cloud and we have just had a conversion line, this blue line, come down through this red baseline. What does that even mean? Well, ladies and gentlemen, what that means is that is a bearish signal when it comes to the price action of any asset and could evidently drive the price at least back onto this lower leading span A in the bottom of this cloud, or we could flip through the leading span B of this cloud here and start trending to the upside. The cloud is computing future levels of support here if we were to do that. One thing to mention, however, if I was to enter a short position, we must be looking at the VRVP. This is the volume range volume profile. It's going to be showing in terms of volume nodes, the highest amount of volume at the point of control, this red line being traded within this price chart you see in front of me and lower volume nodes like here and up here as well. What we can see under us is these are pretty high volume nodes, all things considered. And if we were to reject from this level or definitively reject from this level of resistance or fail to flip this level of resistance into support, then we could still see some local levels due to the fact that we have these uh, volume nodes right here and they're quite big. We could, however, slip through these two volume nodes, giving us a roundabout a position of here which could be a nice take profit for a short. If we are to check that out and we take the VRVP away, we can see that this actually coincides with levels of support and resistance. Why? Well, we can see levels of resistance playing out here, here, we can see it playing out here. If we look back here, and I'll just span across in case I'm in the way, we can also see levels of support playing out here, 
resistance here, support again here. So this is actually a valid level. And if I was to enter that short position, if we come back over here, it could be as simple as this. I would be ideally looking for a confirmation rejection on a lower time frame and setting that stop loss probably around about here and a take profit target here. That is going to be another risk to reward ratio of 1.74. Now that is on the four hourly. However, guys, always do your own research when it comes to trading and entering your own trades because this is the kind of things that I am looking at when it comes to trading this bone token, given the increase in volume. Now, the last thing, if you are interested in trading the bone token, you can head over to OKX and you can trade it on their exchange. If you see my description link below, there is up to $60,000 worth of USTT bonuses in contract vouchers as well. All you need to do is meet the requirements, which is to deposit and trade on the exchange, guys. So that is it for today's video. If you did enjoy it, leave a comment below. Are you bullish on bone? And once again, I'll see you in the next video.